Welcome back to the Temple of the Ocean King. This is the second to last time that we come here. And since we've got the grappling hook, there's more treasures we can find, of course. There's always something new each time. And on top of that, we also have that extra minute that we got from the chest. I did see when we came in that golden portal that will take us further into the temple, but I want to go through to collect all the new stuff. God damn it. <laughs> Well, we're, you're seasoned enough in this place, Ted. I'm pretty sure you can take a hit or two. Or you can just run directly into a safe zone. Or that. Run directly into a phantom. <laughs> it's just like one of the few times that we were able to go directly from one dungeon to another without having to come here. Yeah, I think it was two dungeons in a row, actually. Since we're currently in the Gathering the Materials arc. I guess they couldn't really figure out a way to really fit this part in. Maybe. Either that or they probably just felt it was unnecessary. But I'm glad that they thought that about halfway through. Uh huh. I could just hide out here and use the bomb chew. Oh, that's pretty cool. It'll get there eventually. <laughs> it has enough space to dance around it. Just far enough. For a second, I really thought you were going to try to get the bomb chew to actually gather that key on the map. I don't think it would do that. <laughs> I would have been impressed. Like, oh wow, they actually put little teeth in it so it can actually grab items? Now this is a completely separate path. You can't unlock this until you get the bomb chew. You completely bypass this floor, basically. I'm glad that they thought this through enough to where, like, well, the player wouldn't want to do all these floors, but... Hmm. Part of me wonders if they had enough time to, like, either just cut some floors out or speed up some of the other processes this way. You do need to have that gust active in order to cross, though. Don't need to do anything else in this room. <laughs> I love seeing the top screen sometimes. Yeah. I could probably get rid of all of that, actually. Because now we know we draw the Triforce on it, we don't need the Hourglass. I know that they're only attracted to the floor noises, but the fact that it skitters across the ground, you're telling me they don't hear that? Their ears are covered. Well, that is true. But then how do they hear the foot... well, I don't know. Ringing travels. That's true. And of course we got a peg right nearby where you get the round crystal. And it is timed. I think it's only timed so that you actually remember to get rid of the fire that's right there before you try to get it. Makes sense. And now as a reminder, to get to the next part of the temple, you put the square gem down first, the circle gem second, and the triangle gem third. That unlocks a new area. We took a look at this area before, we couldn't really do anything with it. But, we do have the grappling hook now. Oh good, now we can play with a boulder. Let's share it with our friends. Catch! That always happens. 
<laughs> I don't know why that shadow's there. It looks like I'm supposed to bomb it. Yeah, they even give you more bombs, too. If it were me playing, I'd be like, maybe I did it wrong. Crushing those guys with the boulder is always satisfying. Especially since we're still not at the point where we can actually fight them ourselves. <laughs> Just imagining, like, you still don't have the ability to hit them with your sword yet or anything. And so you get into a room full of phantoms, and there's just like 20 rocks and 20 boulders <laughs> that you have to roll. <laughs> Strategically. But if you knew the pattern, it'd be like a really satisfying game of dominoes. <laughs> that would actually be pretty fun. I mean, that's a dumb scenario I pitched, but I would like to see that. <laughs> I'm sure there's the ROM hacking community or something for it. Dumb but sounds fun is kind of our MO. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna work. I think I need to get closer. Uh, I was trying to kill that phantom eye. And a little bit of an insult to injury there by having it just slowly peter in a second later. Probably could have just drawn a circle there and had it spin around until the phantom eye got there. <laughs> I like it doesn't have to even be at their back, as long as it just hits them, they just take it and die. You can see they have the Bellum eyes. That's why you hit them with the arrows on their backs and that stuns them. What do I do with this? Now that's a new type of switch. It is far away, but even if we could get to it, we couldn't hit it yet. We need a new weapon. Unfortunately, we can't get really clever with our grappling hook, either. Just spin it around and smack it against the switch. <laughs> or were you thinking, like, dragging a boulder over to the switch? <laughs> okay, alright, both of those ideas are way better than what I had. I was gonna say, <laughs> let's let's fling ourselves over there, and then when it doesn't work, well, how do we get back? You're the last one. How the hell am I gonna get there? Ugh. Don't celebrate too soon, says Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> it says that a lot. <laughs> mm. Oh, well, there's a gust there, right there. I mean, I would have been impressed if they had a- they came up with a boulder puzzle specifically to get on top of there. God, son of a bitch. Uh, excuse me? Or we could just hop up there. Oh. And then pull ourselves over to the switch. That's much cooler, actually. <laughs> it's just another fucking rupee. I wasted a lot of time in here, I just looked at the clock. How many minutes? Thirteen and a half. Wow. Oh, now I see it. I'm just blind as a bat. I mean, my vision is actually blurry, but... <laughs> it's more that the, my window player was, like, covering the time until I, like, hit enter. <laughs> We got four switches on the four corners. And we I think that's a new type of phantom, the teleporters. You will not get away, well watch me. I got away. <laughs> I'll get you when you come down here. The fun thing about this room though, there are a lot of switches that will produce bridges that you use to get to the switches, or you can just grapple onto the signs.
Fuck you, Phantom Hourglass. That was, uh... I think Nintendo's trying to say something, I have no idea. I highly doubt the developers said that. It never feels like people who made touchscreen-only games for the DS really wanted to. Even their in-house developers. I think the only game that I can legitimately think of where, like, it being all touchscreen was totally worth it was Nintendogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you can pet and play with the dog and do cool stuff like, hey, I, yeah, using the touchscreen's awesome, but other than that, I can't think of a single game that was like, man, I'm glad it was touchscreen. All of it. And I am a total apologist for the DS Zeldas, but even so, it's kind of a shitty thing to put in the game. Especially since, you know, later on, when they got around to A Link Between Worlds, they agreed. <laughs> I'm hoping there was like a tongue-in-cheek thing like, well, hey, maybe you should try new things kind of way as opposed to being like, well, I mean, if it was controlled, you know, D-pad, it'd be kind of stupid. That's fine and all, but it's this deep into the Temple of the Ocean King. We've, we've been through the game quite deeply now. <laughs> maybe one of their playtesters gave up right around that point and then one of them was like, let's write an inspirational message. He saw it and he quit. <laughs> we did it. We inspired him to quit. You were the best. I am not walking into your view. Nice. Last thing he thought was, ooh, a mouse! <laughs> we got all this ringing shit, but, like, the phantom is over there, he can't hear it. Strategic placement. Also, I think the D-pad's a dumb way to control the game. <laughs> And he kind of just faces away anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Something hit me from behind. Oh well. <laughs> Let me look south. Now if you see on the map, that guy also has a force gem. I think we can just hit him in the back though. Yeah, wouldn't it just make him drop it? Oh, well, that works too. And we got another one of those rusty switches. I think that's just a shortcut. Aha! So every time you put down a force gem, more of, I think, they're the whiz robes show up. Uh, quick question, how did you know they were there? You can see on the map there's a skull where they are. Oh! I thought you were, like, Hawkeye all of a sudden, where you just knew. Didn't I already have one? <laughs> I, I think? It actually took me a long time before I knew I could just walk over that thing blocking the way. <laughs> Although I do wonder who, which of the poor souls was the one who came in and dropped the ship part here. Twelve floors in. Do we really need the dun and uh every time we get one of those? Maybe in the next floor when you get the fourth one. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Yeah, okay. If they see you, the fire will block the way and you can't get up here. Now if you place them in this order...
This is actually the last room of the dungeon. At least for this point. Yeah, I was gonna say, but for, but then I remembered, wait, this is the second to last visit. It might be the last entirely. I can't quite remember. Only thing here right now is the chest. We can't get through that door. Boy, the big wide ocean isn't very big or wide. <laughs> I do have to wonder, I know it's for game reasons that you can't explore, like, other parts, but like, how do you travel the oceans if you don't have one of these maps, then? Like, surely if you're from one of those other quadrants, you would know how to get back, right? They are stuck there, forever. <laughs> uh, if only somebody made me a chart to my own house. I guess I perish. I don't know what I said wait for. I'm sure it was important. <laughs> Hold up, pirates. I'm pulling up sand. I'm so glad that didn't hit me. <laughs> Or sand, god. It, it's starting to get less special. Ah. Well, now we're at the point where I can get the two more treasure maps here. I see, that's why, because you need to unlock the final quadrant first. Yeah, I was gonna say, you literally can't find them without it. The game is kind of smart about that. There are some treasure maps you'd think you would find them at some point, but they would be for an area you can't go to yet. And we're bringing a friend with us. And he died. As all good friends do. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to head west, because like I said, there's a couple treasure chests that we can't reach if we came from that side. We have to go around here, and the place is blocked off. Do be careful, there's a lot of exploding barrels just floating around here. <laughs> I don't know if it's really much of an obstacle, since you have pinpoint accuracy with your DS touchscreen. Where? That's a seagull. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, I don't like seagulls. Man. What? They're back. God damn it. <laughs> it's alright. We can take it. Another enemy. God, it brought his whole squadron. I remember when I was in the Air Force. Wow, you were in the Air Force? That's really interesting. And then I crashed and I decided to stick to the water. I was part of the catapult division, they got rid of me. Because I tried to start a catapult division. <laughs> Look at it slowly rise out of the water. <laughs> well, this is kind of cool, because we can't usually see this side of the island from the ocean. I don't know why, but I felt a Rupor coming on. <laughs> I know you can't get them in chests, but... That would be mean. Damn. Oh, how nice. So we can get rid of our giant shell. I do kind of like it, how it's just like, you know, a bunch of golden pipes in there. <laughs> 
with our devil rotary wheels and devil's tongue. But with the big island, it is blocked off by a cyclone. So we gotta find a way to dissipate that. If only we had some sort of device that wakes the wind. Too bad we broke that on our teeth. <laughs> Just couldn't get that spinach out. It was sirloin steak Sunday, after all. We got pretty close to it before you saw it. <laughs> I want to go to the Traveler first. What am I doing? I'm going to the Traveler ship. I thought maybe <laughs> I'll try some more fishing. I'm going to keep going until the fish notices me. I do love how they just kind of, like, go stationary <laughs> just kind of, like, topple it. You hit me! <laughs> that thing is needlessly hard to draw. <laughs> it's almost like a graphic of somebody entering a door from, like, an overhead view. Almost. Look at this. Oh no, Jolene! We've invaded her ship. Well, I guess I'd be upset and bitter if I had a bunch of pretty flowers on my walls. I guess. Oh, it's too happy. <laughs> he tried. the hell is he? It, this couldn't have been the monster ships, right? No, oh, he's hanging out up above. Oh! Look at this dude. Looks like a human green onion. <laughs> oh, it's not a hat, it's his hair, okay. <laughs> I thought he was wearing a beret, but he just grew one. I agree, leaves. <laughs> Okay, because Pizza Joe was about, like, a second away from squaring up if you were going to laugh at his name. I think he was hoping for it. <laughs> he can't handle a different reaction. <laughs> Pizza Joe, has anyone ever been like, Pizza Joe, that's a really cool name. Again? No. No. The memories are coming back. Grandma? Why? Why do you love me? <laughs> Pizza Jane and Oh those those stupid bumblebee kids or whatever that didn't go to school. Killer bees, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid bumblebee kids, yes. <laughs> Here's a treasure map. Blow your nose. Or eat it, you fucking moron. Okay, my eyes crossed for a second, and I thought he said he deals in death, and I was gonna say, <laughs> I have a lot of questions! <laughs> oh, that looks kinda nice. That looks like an actual ship bridge. Yeah, I, I would've actually maybe used that one. So, Pizza Joe got false clothes. Are they actually a thing he can use? No. We actually have to show them to someone, quote-unquote. Oh. I thought that would have been a really cute thing, a cute callback. Like, hey, look, you can go back in your PJs now. All right. I think I forgot to add the weighty anchor. <laughs> 
Because I think it's golden, technically. Keys? No, I don't have that. So of all people, Beardy Jackass can see that we have the clothes. It really? He's honest? I mean, with all these ravens around him, I don't, I don't think honest would be the word, I think. You know, they call it a murder of crows. I have to tell that to everyone. <laughs> so now what we've done is we've started the trading side quest. Pizza Joe didn't like that joke and then proceeded to hit him with the telescope. In the teeth. Well, kaleidoscope, according to the textbook. Now this guy... That poor man. <laughs> He's missing his telescope. And this isn't one, but maybe he'll like it. I wish trades worked like that. Hey, it's not necessarily even remotely what you're looking for, but I hope you like it. Hoiger Haugendugan. How did you bite your tongue saying that? <laughs> I mean, I bit my tongue today. I don't want to attempt because I don't want to be the first person on Earth to ever do that. Because I smacked my head in irritation but my tongue was against my teeth, and that drove my teeth down into my tongue. <laughs> Kirby 64 is a real pain, guys. <laughs> the final boss can fucking eat me. <laughs> well, not even the... Not the real final boss, like the... pseudo-final boss, that thing's a piece of shit. The real final boss is easy as hell. <laughs> You know, the fact that you gave that guy the kaleidoscope, he still thinks it's a telescope, but he still looks at the wall like, what did you accomplish exactly? <laughs> God damn it, he's got attacked again. This is the other guy, he's nearby the fairy island. We met him a long time ago, he told us about his brother. I see the pathetic brothers. Or maybe the unemployed brothers would be more appropriate. Or maybe he is a little sister. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Remember that story? It was true. I just keep punching myself in my sleep. <laughs> One more, I'm not done with you. Oh, well, that's awfully generous of you. Oh. <laughs> that's all I have. Oh, that's awfully gener- oh. <laughs> I, I gave you two, that's more than like... The majority of the planet. Nave. <laughs> Look, it even has my name on it. I don't know your name, so I can't tell if or identify that it's you. I am Stave Nave. I feel sorry for you. And my name is Pizza Joe. This piece of wood looks tasty. Don't show Linebeck. So like I mentioned, the Wood Hearts are actually a common treasure in Spirit Tracks, but this is the only one we find in Phantom Hourglass. Good luck with that. It seems only right to give the thing from the guy who wanted to get married to the guy who left his wife. <laughs> And also perforated. Ouch. 
my heart is bored. I wouldn't know how to take that one. <laughs> But the old wayfarer is actually over here, out in the boat. Hey, listen, we almost sank you. Is he expecting company? <laughs> I'm not creative. I was close to naming it the SS Me, but then I did! I got so close that I did it. <laughs> I'm not interesting, Pizza Joe, I'm sorry. So Joanne is a total gold digger. Or I guess a food digger. <laughs> I respect that as well. I mean, it's cruel, but also it's to this guy, so fuck him. Yeah. We don't condone that. Unless they're really a piece of shit. I found a heart. Here... A replacement. It'd be like showing me, I have found the secret to life, and you just hand me a bag of licorice. <laughs> when you're sad, give him a try. You'll thank me. <laughs> and it's literally the brand that I buy dozens of every other month. <laughs> You hand me the Starbucks frat from the gas station I frequent, and I'll be like, Oh, cool, thanks. I, it's not like I do this three times a week or anything. I'll never be happy. Again. Again. <laughs> I'll be back for that. This is what I was waiting for. He does have something to give me, it's just you have to leave first. Pizza Joe. In that treasure chest is my self-respect. I want you to have it. You can make better use of it than me. You'll notice it's a very small chest. <laughs> you may even try to sell it, and you'll find that nobody will want it either. Look who's back. Oh boy. This is a boss that really deserved to come back. Yeah, I mean, I would have understood more the flying whale thing over this. <laughs> For a second I thought Pizza Joe was gonna ignore it and go to the island anyway, <laughs> but there was no anchor. <laughs> It's exactly the same. There's no difference. You know how in a, how like in RPGs and in old games, like if they ever needed to make like another enemy type, or they would just like recolor it and make it stronger or something, they could have done that here. I think it might be colored differently, and that's it. <laughs> Pizza Joe's looking at the Phantom Hourglass, seeing how much time is left. <laughs> so he just turned it over, just for his own amusement. Yeah. <laughs> and two regions over. Oh, 20 minutes. Man, that was really something. 
I agree. <laughs> that, was, that was a perfect response to that. That's enough. But you killed my pet, so I take the treasure back. I'll be honest, I didn't really want it. Oh, I think you would. Ooh. Remember the great spin attack? Oh. It came back. Well, that's really cool. But also, why do you have it? Yeah, why him? You're not even like a swordsman. You're a divorced man. It's really funny doing that with a fishing rod. <laughs> it's like fly fishing, but harder. Oh my god. So I've been playing Hyrule Warriors off-stream. We are streaming it. And I unlocked Toon Link. One of his special attacks is the Great Spin. And when he's done with it, he gets dizzy. Of course he does. That also happens in here. I think it's a specific callback to Phantom Hourglass. Well, actually he did that in Wind Waker too, didn't he? Yeah, in Wind Waker. It's just the Pizza Joe thing getting dizzy. Yeah. In Wind Waker, it required magic. Here, it seems like you can just do it. Yep, just gotta spin three times. That's pretty cool. That's actually an upgrade. Oh yeah. And I did like using the great spin attack in Wind Waker. It was great for clearing, like, rooms with those just way too many moves that I just didn't want to deal with. I probably should have used it here. Well, the guy's shield would probably have blocked it. That was a cool finisher, though. Especially when your sword's on fire. Topples down to <laughs> Breaks all his teeth. <laughs> all my smiling's been fake up until now. I'll be frank, Pizza Joe, my face has been stuck like this for 20 years. <laughs> I'm 80. <laughs> I look pretty good for 80, though, huh? That's because this smile is holding my wrinkles. Is this the first thing that we mail? You know, I think it actually might be. I don't recall any things we ever got into mail before. Don't want to deal with it. <laughs> you, you understood, he probably died. Who boy. Got another minigame island. Mazes are hard enough. We got three of them. And it's not even just a maze. It's almost like an obstacle course in itself. You know, the top screen alone, just looking at it, made me want to hiss at it just upon <laughs> seeing it. So already I'm like, ah, oh, it's one of these. I think I need to know the rules. So it's not just getting to the end. You have to follow a path and hit all of the gossip statue guys. And then get to the treasure, which will pop up when you've got all of them. All of that is timed. There is a kind of maze station in Spirit Tracks. It is much easier than this. This took me a good while to complete. The first one isn't too hard, but they get very hard in the second and third. Do they time you for this? Yes. Oh god. And you'd really do only have one path that's going to get you through all of this and get you to the chest on time. This might be my first attempt. It's hard to remember because I did so many attempts. 
I see they were also nice enough to like show you the locations of the top screen for a split second. And then they just let you stew in it. Yeah. Well, I'm boned. Fuck. Was this the last one you were supposed to go to? Maybe. So you can see, just because of the direction I came from, I can't hit any of the switches. Boingity yoing. <laughs> I'll never feel up to the challenge, but this is a completionist run. Yeah, this to me is a thing I would attempt twice and never again. Alright, here's a successful attempt. And there's two other difficulty levels. Oh yes. Remember, it's beginner, it didn't say easy. That is, you know, that's true. But, uh... At the same time, I do have to wonder when these developers come up with, like, maze puzzles like this. Because, you know, the team has to, like, divide the workload. It's obviously not, like, just to save two people doing everything. But, like, I wonder when they have to come up with mini games like this. Do, do the developers actually, like, playtest their own things? You'd say no because of the QA testers. But at the same time, it's like, surely you're, you don't just, like, put right shit up and then you go, Yeah, that might be fun. I don't care. Also worth pointing out. There are a couple of walls you can bomb in this area. Once you've bombed them, they stay open. It feels like something that would probably cost you a little bit of time trying to open the first time, though. Do they stay open through the other uh, difficulty levels, too? Yeah, they stay. Oh, good. They're persistent. If you reload the area, they might reopen? Or maybe not, because none of the other walls that I've bombed open have closed. But now I'm at the point where I have to get to the chest. Oh, and of course it doesn't end once you solved it. It radiates wisdom. It tells you not to do this again. <laughs> Go home! And they jack up the price with the difficulty, too. So obviously this attempt failed, but that wall I can bomb and get to a treasure chest. Oh, and it's the, the main prize from the last difficulty. I think this is the successful attempt. There are eight of them this time. That would have jacked up my anxiety a little, just that first arrow missing. <laughs> Probably jacked up mine. So now, you want to go backwards, you do not want to go around here. That might have been an accident, but I think I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah. There was some extra puzzle solving time. Kind of doing the speed run thing here, where we leave a couple switches on their own until we circle back around later on the path. <laughs> Every second counts. Every second I waste hitting the wall. <laughs> Thank you. 
Or you could do it like near flawlessly and then somehow you'll look at it and go, oh, that was terrible. Because that seems to be the thing for most world record holders. <laughs> I probably couldn't speed a run because, like with these LPs, once I'm done with them, I'm done with them forever. <laughs> and I say that knowing that later this week I'm going to be streaming and be playing Bomberman Hero again. Oh boy. For me, like, it's something I have thought of, but it has to be a game I can play a million times and never get tired of. And there are very few of those. And then it also makes me think... If I do this, I'm gonna want to play something else eventually, and then <laughs> undo all of my speedrun training. So I just thought, you know what, how about I just never do it for as long as I live? And I'll just watch other people do it, because that's fun. So that's why we saved that one until the end, even though we pass right by it. Because it's also right nearby the chest. I need to save and a rest first. <laughs> so you took a nap in real life. The fear cannon. I, yeah, I think that's pretty appropriate. Alright, final attempt. This is the last one, thankfully. Fourteen. I haven't paid that much attention. I think they might be popping up in the order they really expect you to go. I guess we'll see. I don't know if I would have called this level expert. I think maybe level bloated would have worked. <laughs> Level exhaustion. <laughs> Level, you're still here? Okay, so they're not quite in order. They even implemented the goddamn slingshot thing. <laughs> well, I'm glad they had a tiny bit of fun. They had fun. There are some things Phantom Hourglass does better. The mini games aren't one of them. Nah. I mean, the one with the whip is much better. Yeah. That one's actually fun. I'm not saying this is the worst or anything, but I, I can't imagine just doing a million attempts of this. It's kind of the worst. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I would absolutely attempt this if I liked life doing completion runs of Zelda. Oh god, oh, right my, to the end. No. Oh. I was gonna say, Pizza Joe, you ignorant shit. It's right there. And the annals of history. <laughs> I'm sure I spent much more yeah, I was trying gonna to say, get into it. <laughs> I gave you more than this, where's the rest of it? Celebratory spin. Ah! You cut me! And puke on his shoes. Alright, I'm that I'm used to. Come on, let's get back inside. <laughs> Alright, but next time we will actually start exploring the new quadrant we unlocked. Well, specifically do the story stuff there. Yeah, I mean, there's that one cyclone there, and uh, I bet it's gonna be fun to get rid of that. There are two major islands there. One of them we don't spend that much time on. It actually dissipates the cyclone, and then we spend most of the time on that island it's protecting. 
And that all of that will be part 19. Part 20 will be the temple itself. I vaguely remember the temple, but I remember the island for sure. The island is rough. The temple is actually pretty fun. Because if there's anything Phantom Hourglass really gets right, it's the dungeon items you get. Because they're all implemented really well with a touchscreen, but the one in that temple specifically is really clever and creative. Yeah, actually, now that you mention it, I don't think there's been a single dungeon that's been like a chore to watch. I mean, Temple of the Ocean King is a different beast entirely, but the temples themselves have been genuinely pretty good. I actually think it's something that Spirit Tracks doesn't do as well. I don't like as many of the items you get in there. Because, like, the whip is cool, but the windmill is shit. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Yeah, I'll say that the Phantom Hourglass items might be better. Like, the whip is one thing, but I can't think of any other items in Spirit Tracks that made me go, whoa. I can't even exactly think of which ones you get in there, because, like, you get the bow and arrow and bombs and all that. Alright, but next time, final temple before the proper endgame.